November 29th, 2009. Um, quite an amazing night, really, to sort of round off um, the whole delirious journey. Is it true to die? That when people... And waking up with, I wonder what I'm going to do today, like, or tomorrow, or this the year, I don't, it was a very strange feeling. Adjusting to a whole brand new season uh, took a little while. You know, it was a great season for me to be at home and be at home a bit more with the kids and help out. But naturally, as the days uh, went on, I began to write again. I definitely rediscovered music through that time. You know, it had been my job for so long, just thinking about music again, thinking about how to say things again. Uh, and also ask the question, you know, what am I going to do in my life? You know, God, what would you like me to do? I, um, you know, started writing about just being in that place of, you know, waiting on God and wrote some, quite a lot of songs through that 2010 period. I suppose they became the body of work, really, that is now out in these EPs. I just thought, yeah, I, I should try and get these down, even if it's just documenting them really. That led me on a, a different journey of how to record them and who with. We've been at this amazing church as a family for, uh, you know, 20 odd years and uh, we just felt it was a, a great time for us to move uh, to St Peter's in Brighton. Brand new project, we were excited by that and so we've been here uh, ever since. It's uh, amazing building right in the middle of Brighton. Start. I remember asking someone, uh, I didn't think I was here about three or four weeks, and I said, do you know anyone here that's kind of any good with programming? The guy said, yeah, I know exactly the person, his name's Johnny Bird. And uh, we hit it off pretty quick, and within like a couple of hours, I realised he was very clever. And he really helped me get these songs from like a demo into what people are now hearing on the EPs. I'm really into that whole thing, you know, of, of the church discovering how to dance again. That theme is definitely in all the songs, hence the title, God's Great Dance Floor, which I still don't understand what that means. In the position where you're able to release your own music, it's, it's definitely going to be different from when you're in a band. You know, making the EPs in the house with guys from here, Anna bringing drinks in and the kids coming in. It's all been very homegrown and I've really enjoyed sort of preserving that element to it. I think you can hear that in the music a little bit. So our first gig together was here in this very hall, March the 2nd. It was an amazing night and we didn't know that anybody was going to turn up, but um, amazingly some people did. It was fantastic. It, was, it felt like home and I wanted to do it in this building because it, it, it signified and represented where we were as a family. This is our spiritual home now. God's been really kind to us. It's a whole new journey and I'm sure there's more songs to come. I feel like as I've been growing and going through this two or three year period, I've been telling everyone my story of what's been happening. I was very happy to have that time to just explore, experiment, let the songs really grow into something uh, without really having to define what it was I was saying. And I think there's a whole real mixed bunch of songs on those EPs. It's just lots of different songs saying different things, which I hope people can get, get their teeth into and experience on different levels, really. Love 
Whisper 